Hello everybody, this is King Tut here, and welcome to another Python tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll teach you guys for loop. So in this video, it's going to be for loop. Next one is going to be while loop. And the video after is going to be the do while loop. So basically, it's going to be three videos uh, talking about different kinds of loops. So basically, loop in general is, is basically a... It's basically how long or how much the code is being repeated. That block of code inside that loop is being repeated. And for loop is basically a limited amount of loop. So basically a lim limited amount of um, iteration of the block of code that's being executed. So let, let me give you an analogy. Let me give you a um, marathon analogy. So let's say you start, you, you're at the start line and you're at zero miles and it's a, it's a one mile race. So you go from zero to one mile and to get there, you run. So basically you basically execute that run style, the, the run code, quote unquote, and you keep running and running and running and running in that marathon until you get to that one mile mark. And once you get to that one mile mark, you're at the finish line and you're done. It, I'm pretty sure there's more than one mile in the marathon, but I'm just giving you a very simplistic analogy. So basically that's what for loop does. Um, it basically goes from starting point to the finish point. So how do you implement for loop? So to implement for loop, you do you do what it's called. Um, you put in the for keyword, but for the sake of this tutorial and simplicity, I'm going to be putting for that variable in range. And in the range var value, range function or method, actually, in Python, we call it method. In the range method, we we basically put in the starting point and the finish point. And usually it's optional to put in the incrementation point. So basically what it counts by um, while it's going from point A to point B. So you basically put in four and I'm gonna put variable X so you don't declare it. In Python, there's no such thing as declaration. You just put a variable like that for X in range. And it automatically generates the parentheses. And I'm going to put zero to 10. And then it's optional for you to put one to put the increments, but I'm just going to put it for the sake of this tutorial. And then you put in the colon. Then it automatically indents for you. And let's just print. Let's just print a. Let's just print X. And let's just run the program. And bam. It goes from 0 to 10. And you might not see the number 10. Let's just. You might not see the number 10. And the reason for this here is it's basically counting from the beginning. So from zero, it prints out zero. And once it's done printing out zero, it increments one. And But before that, it makes sure it doesn't, is it less than 10? Yes, then increment by one. And, and then once it increments by one, X becomes one. And it it basically becomes x becomes one. And then after that, it makes sure if it's less than nine, and if it is, it increments one. If it isn't, it just stops the loop altogether. So it keeps on doing it, keeps on doing it till it reaches nine. And then once it gets to ten, since it's not less than ten, it's equal to ten. So the statement is false. And Basically, the loop is finished. So that's basically 
pretty much for loop in a nutshell. And if you would like to look at a practical example, so let me just comment it here. Practical example, let's just do a countdown um, from SpaceX. Let's just do like, say the, let's just say July 30th, SpaceX is doing their own like orbital launch for the Starship SN16. And then, and then um, it's just doing it for just one orbit. So let's let's do that. So let's do print. And then let's do uh, starting orbital launch. countdown and then instead of incrementing it we're gonna decrement it so let's just copy from this code and let's just paste it here and then instead of zero it's gonna be let's just do five and then two zero and then negative one so if you want to decrement it you put the negative on there I don't know about multiplication or division. I just I don't think that's really that practical to do incrementation by multiples of one or two or doing decrementation by uh, division by dividing by certain numbers. So I see I see incrementing and decrementing, increasing and decreasing as practical ex um, example. And then let's put in print and then lift off. Or let's just put in the lift off followed by yes to exclamation points. So what's gonna happen here is gonna X is gonna be five initially, and then it's gonna print out five, and then it's gonna check if it's greater than zero. Is it? So, yep, so decrement it by one, and it's gonna keep on doing it until it's gonna get to zero. So let me just comment it, comment out the previous statement so that way it doesn't interfere with what I'm, with this code, or it doesn't like make a mess out of this terminal. So let's just run, and what do you get? It prints out, like we expected, starting orbital launch countdown, five, four, three, two, one, left off. <sighs> Yay. <laughs> so there you have it. For loop in a nutshell. So if you have any questions, if you have anything you like to say or any tutorials, and if you have any thoughts, basically any thoughts on this video, please let, leave a comment down below and be sure to like and subscribe if you're on Rumble and be sure to uh, click the fire button and follow me on Odyssey. So thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.